On the Plateau de Calerne in the south of France, the Apollo program lives on in the name of science. Every day, Clément Cord aims his telescope at the spot where the lunar module landed in July 1969. Since 1981, we've been firing lasers at the moon, at the reflector placed there by the Apollo 11 mission by Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin. And every day, weather permitting, we're able to measure the distance between our station and the reflector. The team here at the observatory of the Côte d'Azur can measure the 384,000 kilometer distance to the moon to within a few millimeters. We time it. The beam is created here. We start the clock. The beam leaves the telescope. It goes to the reflector. In 1.2 seconds, it's reflected. And then in another 1.2 seconds, it comes back. Then we stop the stopwatch. And with that, we have the flight time, and we can then deduce the distance. And we do that 10 times every second. With the anniversary upon us, we take a moment to leaf through some vintage magazines showing the retro reflector panel placed on the moon. That's the Apollo 11 panel, which was put there 50 years ago now. It's 50 centimetres by 50 centimetres with 100 corner cubes, 100 corner cubes like that. And it's been working for 50 years. Measuring the slight variations in the movement of the Moon is useful for studying its internal structure and relationship with planet Earth. Just this month, scientists using this team's data made a fresh estimation of the radius of the moon's molten core, putting it at around 381 kilometers. We've improved by a factor of three on previous estimations, and that's an argument to show that, despite the fact these panels were put there 50 years ago, there's still science that can be done, and there are still questions we can try to answer. What's striking is how the achievements of the Apollo era continue to live on here. The scientists use those instruments placed on the lunar surface 50 years ago every day, every hour and every second that they can, and they're getting great science out of it. Jeremy Wilkes at the observatory of the Côte d'Azur for Euronews.